In this video, you will able to learn uh, the Verilog code for the binary to gray converter and uh, gray to binary converter. Okay, so this is for uh, four bit uh, input. Okay, so first uh, be here it is module and then module name and b and g b if b is input which is 4 bit and output g g for gray code so g is output also this is 4 bit okay so in binary to gray conversion uh, you have to take the uh, msb as it is for gray okay so for uh, g b3 g3 is as it is and for g2 you have to take the jor 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 of uh, b2 and uh, b3 for g1 you have to take the jor of b2 and b1 and for uh, g0 b1 and jor of b0 okay so we have to uh, we are using data flow model so we are uh, using assign a statement and after that there is a in module for every Verilog code, there is module and in with in module. So, this is a Verilog code for the binary to gray conversion. Okay. Now, gray to binary conversion. So, again, module gray to binary that is module name and B is B and G are input or output variable. So, here gray to binary G is input and B is output. So again for uh, MSB the in gray as well as in binary conversion both are same MSB will be same and after that you have to take for B2 you have to take the output jar with the uh, gray code take the output and the jar of input similar so uh, theoretically you can go through the uh, uh, Google or any notes so this is working of uh, uh, grade to binary conversion so this is module gray to binary and binary to gray after that we will write the test bench so i have already written this uh, and verified so you can understand and it will be easy for me to make you understand so this is a test bench and we will verify that uh, uh, the module binary to gray or gray to binary conversion module is working or not so this is test bench now the problems come here uh, for the new beginners that how to add this uh, module and uh, so uh, there is a video uh, for the basic beginners uh, i will provide in the description box so you can add these all things how can you add file project okay so these all are dis described in the uh, lecture one or you can say video session one for questions okay so now in uh, test bench there is also module and in module okay so in uh, test bench module name is also so the module name is binary to gray uh, it doesn't matter you can write anything okay uh, so uh, there is no input output port so it is nothing here now in test bench basically test bench is a stimuli generator module which generate a stimuli to the module uh, or it gives input to the module so that it uh, gives the output so for uh, test bench input is given as a race uh, which is also a 4 bit and a buyer that is output uh, that will be also 4 bit Output B is uh, output for the gray to binary and uh, out G is for uh, uh, binary to gray. Now here we are going to instantiate the module. So we are going to instantiate binary to gray module and the name of name DUT. Okay, design under test. So DUT1 and then we are connecting the input uh, of test bench to the input of uh, binary to gray conversion module and similarly output of the module to the uh, output of test range similarly for this now after that instantiation we are going to give the some stimuli so initial begin 
and then input is uh, 4 bit uh, 0 0 0 and after 10 nanosecond it is changes to 0 1 1 0 so uh, for 4 bit there are 16 bit means 16 times you have to give the input but for the verification we are giving 3 input okay so these all are done these all are done so after uh, doing all the written code uh, right uh, click here and compile and compile out so it is already correct so it is showing here a status tick mark okay otherwise it will be a cross mark now done compilation done now you have to go to the library here you will see as uh, this module binary to gray and the test bench module and the gray to binary module so you have to simulate all so uh, for sim right click there and simulate it and then this one now we are going to simulate test bench okay done so so for the verification on wave uh, go to view and uh, here it is wave okay so these are the test bench input and output so select all and then drag it to the base and then run here okay so in when you will run and uh, the code will uh, start from here and end with here here it is a stop so after uh, it, this 10 10 10 30 uh, nanosecond it will uh, stop so for uh, viewing the verification here click here and see so this is the input after 10 10 nanosecond it is 0 so a uh, 0 when you will convert to the binary it is a, a binary to gray so it will be 0 0 0 so uh, when it is input is 6 so it uh, it's uh, means you can take it on radix change the radix yes that was on hexadecimals okay so we are changing to binary so these uh, 000 uh, and 0110 and 1011 these three are input uh, which is given to the module by the test bench okay so binary to gray this is the te uh, test bench name okay so don't worry about that this is output means output b we have defined here uh, output b means uh, uh, gray to bin uh, output b So, output B means uh, where gray to binary means output is in binary. Binary, uh, these are binary and these are gray. Okay. So, 0, 0, uh, conversion of 0, 0, 0 to binary and gray are same 0. So, if it is uh, 0, 1, 1, so it binary will be 0 and uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0. okay so here i think there is so msb will be same so after that 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 1 0 it will be 1 here so uh, it is in gray okay so if it is for b input are gray and for g input are binary okay so this is correct so gray to binary take the output same and then take the jar of 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 0 0 0 so it is correct so this this you can verify on the wave it is correct now if you want to view the schematic view uh, uh, in questa scene so you have to do the debugging so for that 
right here uh, so if you want to view the module uh, binary to grid so right here binary dot let's see test bench okay so overall module will be here so we have verified that one now we are going to use the schematic okay for that after this you have to go view and then here schematic view increment and follow okay so see we are going to zoom it so this is our test bench and this is module dut1 and dut2 okay so we will see uh, this test bench is providing input to the module uh, module dut1 and dut2 and uh, after the ver uh, verification we see the output at this point okay so if we want to see the internal uh, structure of dut1 so double click here then you will see this is uh, binary to gray conversion so MSV will be as it is and then take the jar of uh, these uh, these two and then output will be here and there okay so yeah similarly you can also view the uh, gray to binary conversion uh, module uh, schematic okay so this is basic uh, using data flow model okay so you can also make a module uh, for n bit binary to gray and gray to binary conversion so uh, you practice on that otherwise uh, i will upload that video also so thank you for watching uh, this video so let's see in the next video thank you